Yep. Brilliant. We're starting now. Brilliant. Hi, Will. Nice to see you. So thanks very much for agreeing to take part in these interviews. Um, it's lockdown learnings, I've called these interviews. So what I'm doing is um, asking some of my clients, uh, my best uh, best clients and best looking clients, uh, what their <laughs> learnings are uh, over this sort of lockdown period. So I know it's, uh, we're now in, um, was it week 15, I think is, of the, uh, the, the lockdown as it's been gradually phased out. So could you just start by explaining who you are and what you do so that we can get a, a bit of an understanding, please? Yeah, I'm William Rowe. I run a fish and chip shop and have done for quite a few years. Uh, yes, quite, you, you're going to mention how many years or just it's a bit of a... How many years? Quite a few years. What? 50, yeah, over 10 years. Over 10 years, brilliant. Yeah. Right. Cool. So I know, um, sort of looking uh, looking to get things moving in the interview, at what point in time did you realise that the, the, the COVID situation was going to be a bit more than a, 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 um, a, a health perspective or health problem and it was going to be moving into a more commercial problem for, uh, for everyone? What sort of point did you, re you know, looking back, could you pick a point when you uh, realised it was going to be an issue um, um, financially or commercially? First day. On first the Monday, day. Yeah, on the Monday. Yeah. When they said we were going to have a lockdown. Yeah. My, I don't open till half four on a Monday. I open till half four and I close at half nine. Yeah. And that was the worst Monday I have ever had. Really? Oh, wow. I knew right from day one yeah. that we were going to be in trouble. Yeah. Because nobody came out. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I don't do a delivery other than for large parties. Yeah. So that hit me quite hard because people have yeah. to physically come in the shop to buy stuff. Come out and come nobody was going out. Yeah. Because nobody knew what it was that was out there. Yeah. Just wanted to catch it. So everybody was staying still. Brilliant. And you took a decision quite early on, didn't you, that you were going to um, not, not you, know, you were going to shut the shop and um, batten down the hatches, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. What, yeah. What, made you, what made you do that? Um, mainly the not knowing. Mm. How big was this thing going to be? Nobody yeah. knew. No. Perhaps we still really don't know. No, you're right. Um, I didn't want my staff to go down with anything that could be a killer. I didn't want my customers to go down with anything yeah. that could be a killer. Yeah. The shop does get packed out with people. I didn't want I didn't want a lot of people because they've come to me catching it. And we didn't know at the time how the hospitals were going to handle it. Mm, mm. Where, you know, you, you, you were seeing, I don't know if we were seeing it at that point or not with Italy, how the hospitals were in serious problems. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we see that at that time or whether we've seen that afterwards, you know. Yeah. But nobody knew how far this thing was going to go and how easy it was to catch. We just knew that we could catch it from touching things that other people have touched. It's very easy to catch. Um, how many people are you going to infect and those people die because of that infection? Yeah, yeah. So I just thought there's too many unknowns there. Um, let's just shut. Yeah, and be done with yeah. it. Got you. <clears throat> so thanks for that. So has, has lockdown allowed you to focus on something that you weren't doing before in your business? Um, it's made me realise more than what I did before. Hmm. Importance of perhaps a delivery service. Yeah. Because if you had a delivery service, and you had a small staff bubble. Yeah. You carry on. Yeah, yeah. 
it's been taken away and people will get to know you. And also, if, say, for instance, we were in Leicester at the moment. Yeah. If we were being shut down and people were used to ordering from us, that wouldn't affect us so much as what it would be if we were in Leicester and yeah. people only came to collect from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it will make a massive difference on yeah. delivering. Yeah. To the trade. Yeah, I think it's just a seem. It seems to be a way that people want to be going and not not necessarily um, venturing out really, unless they possibly have. You know, unless they definitely have. Yeah. To. Certainly, um, there's going to be something perhaps going forward. That's that's what people will be looking at. Okay, super. So. I mean, most business have been, uh, businesses have been forced into adapting and changing um, during the, 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 the lockdown, really. Are there any adjustments that you've made that you'll keep doing? That things that you think, well, actually, yeah, that's worked really well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on with that. Um, the staff like, or a few of the staff like the idea of having perspex between mm us serving yeah. their customers. Um, I don't personally like it mm. because I've got a physical barrier, although <laughs> you can do it, yeah. there's yeah. still a barrier. And the thing I like about the job the most yeah. is social contact. Yeah. Yeah. Although you still got social contact, um, a little bit's been taken off of it. The edge has been taken away from it because you've got these perspex between. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, I, I I think I've been surprised how sensible people have been over it. You know, yeah. we haven't had any problems with people trying to push into the queue where people aren't standing close together. You can yeah. easily get, you know, you imagine a motorway if we all had to keep three cars or behind each other you'd yeah, have cars yeah. in that space all the time no matter what was happening yeah yeah and i was imagining the same thing in people queuing not just for fish and chips but for everything yeah but people haven't I think people have been so good on this and if people have if i've got a one in one out in the shop yeah and if people don't realise it's just a one in, one out, and they come in, I ask them if they want my waiting outside, and yeah. I haven't had any negative comments at all. No. Everybody has said, yeah, sorry, mate, no problems. Yeah. And yeah. Just go out. Now, you know, I'm not in the most effluent of areas in the country. Yeah, yeah. And I, a lot of my customers generally do what they want to do, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Um, but no, everybody's been absolutely brilliant. You know, yeah. I'm not putting a bet on it. It's the way it is. Yeah. You know, no, great really customers, but they they really have, yeah. You know, taken it and listened to it, and they're they're doing really well. Yeah, brilliant. So I think the British do like queuing, don't they? Really, or we're very very renowned for our queuing. So we're pretty. Um, yeah, pretty but, and the service the service has been a lot slower. Because mm. I haven't got some people in the shop, and nobody's given us any grief about yeah. the time we waited for it. Yeah. And people have been, I've been very pleasantly surprised on yeah. how Joe Public has yeah. up with such an inconvenience. Yeah, yeah. So it's been, um, has probably helped that the weather's been so, so nice as well, hasn't it, really? I know there's been one or two yeah. colder days, but it's quite nice. Um, yeah, quite nice queuing if it's a, it's a nice sunny evening or a daytime. It's not it's not quite as bad. So I'd be interested to see how it pans out if um, if we're still in this situation coming forward into the winter, more into the winter months. It will be um, yeah, be interesting. You can see your perhaps your deliveries going up and up and up really. Is that if that's yeah, I think so. Yeah, that could well be, couldn't it really? And I know you you take orders over the phone now, don't you? Really? So that is that something that you'll be able to you, you'll be able to keep up with and uh, do that for people that aren't perhaps uh, so, you know as computer savvy as uh, for Deliveroo and Uber Eats and all those sort of kind of guys. Yes, that that is something that we are considering doing it on a long on a larger scale. Yeah. But um, because the schools aren't open. Yeah. And because I've got one member of staff on 
maternity that will be coming back in a couple of months, I think at that stage I'll have more staff. Yeah. So I'll be surplus to requirements a lot more than what I am now. Yeah. So I can either, well, there's only two drivers there, but I can just easily nip in a car mm. and, do, and just see whether at the end of the night yeah. it's yeah. my while cool. doing that or not and employing somebody else to do it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I was thinking of more of um, the phoning up and collecting, sort of phone and collect. Oh, we're doing quite a lot of that. Yeah, almost like a click and click and collect, that's, but it's not quite. That's, that's going very well. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, for people that don't want to wait. Yeah. Um, we've got 10 minute intervals and generally on a Friday and Saturday um, for a number of hours, um, they are full up. Yeah, yeah. Can't take any more orders. And we just have to advise the people to come and join the queue. Yeah, yeah. Because the problem is, is that if you do too many telephone orders, the people that are waiting in the queue aren't getting served and they'll just go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So I want to be able to serve five or six people that are in the queue Yeah. In between doing a telephone order. Yeah, exactly. Balance and they're really getting the balance yes. right. You know, if you're in a queue that's moving, you yeah. will stay in that queue. If the queue's not moving, even if there's only two people in front of you, yeah, you can go somewhere else, yeah, well, and I think yeah. other people would, yeah, no, you just need to be that, that uh, constant, yeah, just keep it moving, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay, super, thanks for that. So uh, just on a different, slightly different tact, well, um, what are you most looking forward to? Sort of part post lockdown. I know um, uh, pubs and uh, cinemas are going to perhaps be opening July the fourth. So it's on Saturday, so it's not far away. Are there anything? Is there anything that you think? Oh, I can't wait to go and do X, X, Y, or Z um, once the lockdown restrictions have, have hopefully eased, fully eased. I haven't really thought that far ahead on the social side of things. No. Um... No. No, there isn't really. I know you're a big um, Tottenham fan. Are you, uh, are you looking forward to getting down to um, getting get down to that stuff? Yeah, going to, getting down to see a football match really would be something to um, be looking. I forward think to. at White Hart Lane we've always practiced social distancing. <laughs> uh, we, we, we've had a ground that you could have forty thousand people and normally the gate's about ten thousand so we can always social distance at White Hart Lane. Not as bad as West Ham. Um, <laughs> obviously they can really social distance there. Two people, one end, that's it, sorted. Um but yeah steady. <laughs> so, yes, it's lock lockdown learning's not not Sorry, it's really West Ham fans. <laughs> West Ham fans. That's a lovely stadium that is. But um, yeah. anyway, cool. So one one final question then, Will. Um, what have you learned about yourself? Is there any sort of learnings that you thought actually, yeah, I, I, I've learned this about myself as an individual? Yes, if I don't have time limits to do anything, I just don't do anything. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that's the biggest learn. Yeah. That no rush to get anything done. Just nothing gets done. Yeah, I think in, in um, I, I know when we kind of got into sort of sort of into lockdown, um, your your um, mindset or your enthusiasm was quite high, and then I could gradually sense it's going down and down and down. And yeah, we've worked together for quite a number of years now, and it's like wow, I, I remember putting the phone down and uh, thinking, wow, I've never I've never known Will like this. He's always a go getter, and he's going and getting stuff done and. It's just like, well, it's not going to do anything. So I know yeah. I, I did pick the phone up the next day and say, well, what's the, you know, what's going on? What's, what's the matter? It? And it was interesting to see now that that switch has just quicked and the the, the old will has come back really once well, you just the direction. Which is very cool. easily just turn into one of the slob by just, <laughs> you know, you, you haven't got to get it done now. So I don't do it, and yeah. I don't do it the next day or the day after that or the and. Um, you go to bed worrying about everything that you didn't do, but yeah. it doesn't change anything the next day, and you go to bed thinking exactly the same as what you did the day before. 
kind of manana sort of politics. yeah it's, it's just rubbish yeah so, you know it, it's taught me that that even if you haven't got time limits you've got to self-impose the time limits yeah yeah the self yeah, uh, yeah well yeah. to me you know everybody's different and some people luckily yeah. don't have to do that but yeah. They do do that, but we don't see that. And yeah. they have shorter time limits and they just, you know, achieve an awful lot of stuff. Get that dis and, yeah, that discipline. But yeah, I, I definitely, I, you know, if we were on lockdown again and I wasn't able to keep the shop open, um, I would definitely, before I went to bed, write down what I had to achieve yeah. by 12 o'clock in the morning and then by 12 o'clock and then dinner 12 till yeah. 1 o'clock. Yeah and um, then split it in two hour intervals or something like that so yeah. that I achieve yeah. from it every yeah. couple of hours, you know? Brilliant. That's a good learning, isn't it? To know that, that, that <clears throat> you do need that time um, time, ur time urgency to get, get things moving and get things done. Yeah. So that's great. Well, thanks very much for that. Yeah. Uh, really enjoyed the, the, um, the, the interview there, lockdown learning. So... Um, thanks, Will, and I'll uh, catch up with you again soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Yeah,